Boom. 50. There it is. We live? We're live. We just got to wait till people wait for people to come in. Is this your first time being live on YouTube? Oh, yeah. I be live on my YouTube channel. Really? Yeah, it just went live. It should well, take I like... I be playing Call of Duty on this one. It should take like 30 seconds for people to come in here. If I did it right. I think I did it right. Yeah, we got somebody. Rabbi Sh Shmuel is in here on this wonderful Monday evening. Rabbi Swell, what's up, baby? Gang, we got 50 in the house. Hello, hello. How you guys doing? How y'all night going? What up, gang? I haven't been live in a while. I haven't been live since Halloween. How y'all feeling? 50 and I had a crazy day yesterday, man. Didn't we, 50? Definitely did. Enjoyed ourselves last night. Tell them about it. Uh, we we just we enjoyed ourselves. It was good. Unk brought us out. Peaks brought us out. Unk brunt. Everybody curved out. We had a lit time. <laughs> Going to eat that nasty ass pho. What's that shit called? Foo? 50 had never had uh, pho before. Or pho. The pho? Vietnamese noodles. That shit nasty. You said it smelled like bugs. I thought it was good though. That was really good. We hung out with this YouTuber named Peaks One Hundred. If you guys know who that is, and uh, his uncle, he was he was telling me like, don't give my uncle any Hennessy. He gets aggressive when when you give him Hennessy. I didn't really believe him because I'm like, I'm sure he'll be fine. This man turned into a complete animal off the Hennessy, didn't he? Complete animal. He could not take that. Liquor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that liquor was kicking his ass. And I love Unc. I'm not dissing Unc. Unc's the man, but he was man down. Bro, he was like grabbing my hand so hard about to break my wrist. He patted patted fifty on the back and like punched him crazy hard. He ended up in a Vietnamese um uh pho restaurant puking on the table. It was all hands on deck for Unc, man. He had to go lay down. Yeah, he was doing the damn thing. But how's Chad doing? How you guys doing? What's up, Ryan Miller? What's up, Peter Brooks, Rocky Stream in the house? Why do you say Vex? I be looking serious? Why does baby fifty look so serious? I don't know, bro. Have some self awareness. Maybe you look serious. <laughs> Fuck that pussy, man. You know. <laughs> they say you look grumpy. How's Fifty look? Is Fifty look grumpy or does he look good? Louise said, "Hope you're doing well." Yeah, I'm doing great, man. I appreciate that. I think I might have. Uh, I'm not gonna say broke my wrist, but I, <laughs> I said, "Baby, Fifty look like my mom, and I love her." I hurt my wrist. He loves you, man. I, I hurt my. I've been training the MMA, dude, and I, I cracked my wrist about a week ago. It really hurts. <laughs> MJ said, I think your Thailand content was some of the best I've seen on YouTube. Thank you, man. Some people hate the Thailand content because I was being a degenerate out there. But I think the Thailand content is fun. Yeah. Nah, I like that content. I was trying to take 50 to a, a massage parlor to get a hand job. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it for the camera. He wanted to do it for... What y'all think about that? He wanted to do it with, with no camera. <laughs> 50 look high as fuck, Drew says. I ain't smoking like an owl. How long <laughs> that shit will? I ain't smoking like an owl. How long that shit take to will? A regular person? I would say like two or three hours. Hey, we have Jake McCollum in the chat. Jake McCollum said, I came back to Dallas for the holiday, so seeing you sipping from that mug got me hard. Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays, Jake. I love that guy, man. He's another Happy YouTuber. Happy holidays, Jake. He so, who? He's YouTube. another YouTuber. Okay, then, yeah. Shout out, Jake. Say something, say something nice to Jake McCollum, 50. Show him some love. Uh, shout out Jake McCollum, man. All love and support over here. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Know what the fuck going on. Brandon, you got to pop out to Japan, big dog. I went to Japan for a whole month. I got I got some Japanese videos on the way. Did you guys know that in Japan there's this place called um, uh, the Nishinari Ward where there's like hella homeless people in Japan drinking on the street and pissing on the street. And I saw a man shit his pants. And I saw a man masturbate in the in street. Japan? You wouldn't think that's in Japan, would you? No. It's crazy. That sounds like some downtown LA shit. I got that video coming. I also went into Don Quixote, and I convinced Japanese people that they could get stuff for free from the store. <laughs> got people to walk out with like $100 of free shit. And then, out of Japan? Yeah. And, but then I told them that I'll pay for it, and I just paid for it. But it was funny. You recorded it while they was walking out, though. Yeah, it was really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I was dressed up in a Don Quixote mascot outfit, and I was like, free, free, everything free. And One cup Don food. Quixote? Don Quixote? Who the fuck is Don Quixote? <laughs> <laughs> Don Quixote is like the Walmart of uh, of Japan. Don Quixote? Don Quixote. You like, you like Japanese girls, 50? Uh, 
I don't is. know. You don't know? Mm. Don 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 Quixote. You like Japanese? Yeah, I love Japanese girls. Don Don Quixote. Uh, I think he was like a folk a folklore person. Hey, we have we have a Buckingham Brandon Buckingham clips in the chat. You to show me. Damn the, uh, the Don Quixote jump. Yeah. Talk to your fans real quick, Fifty. What's up, y'all? Let me know something what y'all want to talk about. Bring us some topics. This goddamn shit. It's like a fucking penguin. It's if this. They did you ever do something for this? <laughs> Don Quixote. You had that costume on. Yeah, I had a Don Quixote. Let me uh, see. Someone hey, said, "Brandon, did I, did, I, eh? did I confront Snake in Japan? Nah, but if I could, I would. We weren't there at the same time." Suspenders was that weird short streamer that Ice brought with him in Japan. Yeah, Suspenders was being a fucking reject, bro. Trying to fight show. It was just uncalled for. He spoiled the night hey, acting baby like 50 that. Make YouTube videos. Buckingham, did you ever do something for Baby 50's troubles? Yeah. I blessed 50 yesterday. Indeed. Wanna flex on him? Indeed. Should I? Flex on him, bro. Flex on him. 50 about to flex on the chat right now. 50 about a big time flex. But yeah, nah, chat. But what? It's due to y'all help, though. So thank you for the, the love and support. Yeah, it's you guys watching. I just shared some ad revenue with 50. So this this all us flexing. Real for real. Yeah. But it's just a couple little... You got to hold it up for the camera. It's just a couple little... 50 this, banded this up. This camera, right? Yeah. Yeah. That one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, 50 spent like three whole days with me in Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Took him off from recording stuff. And then when we did that shit in the woods, that was crazy. And both the videos are really good. So I just figured I'd show some love. Share some love with 50. 50 is handsome, says Hannah, baby. I ain't been told that in a long time. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Talk to Hannah. Tell her tell her what you want to do. We're going to get you in this basement, Hannah. Yeah, hey, you don't want that. Treat you nice. Real nice. Uh, how did those J's clean up? What is that? <laughs> what is they talking about my shoes? Your shoes. Yeah, how those how's those J's clean up? Nah, they still good. I brought them back to life. I just put some... Uh, you know, you take a rag, washcloth, yeah, yeah, yeah. soap and water. Mm -hmm. You hit them like five times on each side. Mm -hmm. Let them sit out back for a little bit. You'll be back. How come? Uh, how come you thought it was a haunted house, bro? I told you it was an you insane asylum. You told me it was a haunted house. I told house, you it was bro. an insane on, asylum. Bro. I thought you just come couldn't. On, we ain't gonna start it up. <laughs> Buck told me it was a, a motherfucking haunted house. We was about to go to <laughs> World of Wigan, and I woke up too. Bob Dickberg said, 50 is so fine, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, we ain't going to be those, bro. Tyler John said, Brandon, how are you mentally? No, I've been good, man. Everything's been good. I've, I've been working crazy on the content, probably 60 hours a week, and just got a lot of good stuff on the way. Um, also, you guys, since we last talked, I did my merch drop. Get that merch. I dropped my merch. Cold as rye, man. So I know some people were complaining about on the, back. Th the price of it, but uh, it's, the back, it's the, this on the back. But so this is like a custom made washed material, right? It's not just like a regular Hanes or Gildan. So I'm making less than a uh, fifty percent profit on everything that I sold. I know like the hundred five dollar sweatshirt seems crazy, but if you see how thick this hood is, it's literally the thickest sweatshirt material you could get. But if you don't want the ex more expensive one, you could just get the sixty five dollar cheaper one. But I'll be lucky if I break even on this merch drop for real. My margins on the other merch drops were way higher. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, that I'll merch drop is BuckinghamShop.com. You got to get that. Uh, Jorge Giggler said, Brandon, are you going to be on Fish Tank Season 2? Um, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I know I'm about to be hanging out with John Tron. You guys know the YouTuber John Tron? In about seven days or ten days, I'll be hanging out with him for a full week. I'm doing like a documentary about, uh, you know, just life as John Tron. It's going to be cool, man. We're going to like New York City. We're going to uh, New Hampshire. We're going to Boston. John is hilarious, bro. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I'm trying to line up after the John Tron video. I'm trying to line up uh, to do a similar type video with uh, Wendigoon. If you guys know who that is, do some shit with him. African B said, "Is that Crip Mac? Is that Crip Mac? Who they talking about? Are you Crip Mac? Fuck up." <laughs> yes. Yes, those J boys really be hopping off the porch. That's a fact, bro. It's going crazy right Wait, now. Who is that? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know. K 
Can you two kiss? No, Godfather 666. That is some devilish shit you would say, Godfather 666. Trying to get 50 to shoot me. What'd he say? He said, can you two kiss? That's crazy. Who the fuck said that? This guy. Brandon, can we get 50 on Fish Tank? I feel like if 50 went on Fish Tank, there would be something that would erupt. I feel like you'd, you would end up swinging on someone. Fish Tank is, uh... That thing I showed shit, you? Yeah, what you just dropped. Mm -hmm. What we just watched. If somebody, like, if if we put mustard and, and soap all over your clothes and stuff, how would you That's react? That just seem like a, uh... What's one of them rooms you go to and you just smash up shit? Uh, like a rage room or something? What's it called? I don't know. They know what it is. The rooms yeah. where you pay to fuck everything up. Yeah, it seemed like one of those. I could do that. They said Baby 50 versus Airsoft Fatty boxing match. You think you could beat up Chris, that big fat guy that... Fuck no. He would get you? Fuck no, I can't beat him up. He got it. He's big as shit. He, a, he big as a motherfucker. He's like a gumdrop. Yeah. Uh, Zeno Droid said, that's what's up, John Tron is base. John like Tron is base. Coffee mug. He said he's like a shit. coffee mug? Yeah, his body just... Yeah. No, John Tron is cool as shit, man. I'm super excited for the John Tron content. If you guys have any things you want to see me and John Tron do, uh, let me know. Destiny's BFF, John Tron. John Tron makes way better constant content than Destiny. It's not even comparable. Not even comparable, bro. DJ ESP said, I met you at the gathering, man. Shout out shout out the Juggalos. Woo woo. Gang. You already know. Baby 50 is the smartest black guy in DC, staying away from troubles, exploring with Brandon, avoiding Rico's. Props to 50. Doubt. I don't know if that's a compliment or like what the fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like what the fuck? I take it though, man. Ain't no doubt. No, that's a compliment. He's saying you're moving correctly. On that note, did you guys hear me and Fifty song we dropped? I mean, it's on this channel, so I'm sure you did. That speak when I say to joint. If I lay you down, mm. walk on this bitch, no, no grip, grip, no stick, stick. stand the clips, and I need it on this bitch. No, you guys know me. Hands, I don't need no me and Fifty weapon. have a whole EP recorded. We don't know. Had him shook like who's he? We don't even know if we're gonna drop it. We've just recorded stuff for fun, but we was recording last night. He ain't even finish it. Yeah, I was cooked. Drew said, "How's Jet Neptune doing? Jet's doing good, bro. I talked to Jet the other day. I'm about to go. I'm hanging out with Jet in a few days. Obviously, it sucks when like the mad fans are just complaining and shitting on you all the time. But you know, at the end of the day, Jet created Fish Tank, and I feel like uh, yeah, Jet's in a good place. He's happy. He had a very successful project and." Every time you do anything on the internet, man, people are going to complain and give you a hard time and speak negatively. It's just how it is, you know? That's just how it be. Me and Peaks just, or me and 50 just did that video with Peaks, and there's like 90% of people like us, but 10% are saying I'm a corny white guy, and he's a... Uh, Complaining ass. Yeah. Grandma, so. Is this certified yeah, rappers, I'm, <laughs> brother? I'm always angry. I don't even be angry, though. That's, I guess that's just a face, though. Maybe you got resting gangster face. Yeah, maybe it's just my face. Will the man make an appearance in New York City? Nick, I I have a video, uh, uh, acting like I'm the man video, that is filmed and edited. You guys want me to drop that on this channel? Acting like I'm the man at a porn convention? I filmed that last year. I could drop on this channel if you want. Rax Rax said, Brandon, I just want to say that hair is looking good, my man. I hope you have another box wine in Ocean City video soon. I do. I have a, I have an unreleased drinking box wine in Ocean City video. Uh, if I could ask you one question, what's your favorite artist that inspires you? Um, I guess as far as a hip hop artist, I would say this rapper named Idea. And then as far as like content creation artist, I would say Tom Green. Tom Green's the goat. Tom Green is the goat. Zeno Droid said you did some damage in the tank, but yeah, see, even when even after I went on the fish tank, talking about Jet getting shit on is like, there was people DMing me being so nasty after I went on the tank, saying that I'm a douchebag and I'm not funny, but that's just how it goes. There's a lot more people that were being cool. But, yeah, I, I was fucking the fish tank up. I was way too drunk on the fish tank. Why oh, they keep talking about me wrestling and shit? Where does it say that? Oh, yeah. Baby 50 versus Airsoft Fatty Sumo Wrestling. <laughs> I like how you said wrestling. Wrestling? You know how to wrestle? Uh, I know how to get buggy. Oh, let's talk about you dirty. You versus uh, a 14-year-old high school state champion wrestler. Uh, remember, remember you were saying you could beat one? 50 was saying he could beat a, a state champion high school wrestler that if he was only a freshman. Yeah, wrestling shit ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That wrestling shit ain't nothing. What do you guys think? You guys think a chat? You think Fifty can beat up a state champion wrestler if he's a freshman? What I gotta do? You gotta take him down. Yeah, I could do that. No problem. No problem. He couldn't get you. Couldn't get me. Or you go back and forth. Probably go back and forth. But it'd be fifty fifty. Be fifty fifty. We should well, set that up for a video. I know you ain't just gonna be getting me, just nah. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to see Baby Fifty wrestle a a a fourteen year old high school state champion? I I I'll tell you, if you could take him down one time, I'll give you a thousand dollars. One time. One time, you take it. You take the a high school state champion down one time. What they saying about it? About what? Oh. Uh, G Heen gave us two dollars and said, "Play Young Glide PSA." You know what that is? Y mm. Young Glide. Um, Fifty rate Brandon's rap game out of ten. Ten out of ten. No, you could be honest though. I would say I'm a clean six or seven. Nah, you like a good seven, eight. I, I appreciate that, bro. Cause your punch, your punch, your you you not just saying corny shit. You just you going in there actually thinking about. There's a lot of motherfuckers just go out here and just say anything and just because they hype around their name, they shit just going to You actually saying punch in line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it, it gets pretty bad. Rap Soft as shit like Play-Doh. Yeah. Are you saying like actual you know, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 bars? I appreciate that, bro. So, yeah, you putting that shit together. Baby 50 for the gathering. They got to just be there while you recording the shit. Just actually see the shit. That shit good. Yeah, we. I mean, we make those songs pretty quick. <clears throat> uh, that would be cool if I took uh, Fifty to the gathering. That Juggalo shit. But they they like show assholes and stuff. So it oh get, man, it gets a little nasty. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit! Hold <laughs> up! <laughs> hey, you trying to show a nigga the black hole? I don't want. I don't want to run into that. That darkness. They scream right at you. Show us your butthole. Nah, I'm out. Mm mm. You don't like it? I'm out. Nah. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> uh, Casey Conklin says, who's talking shit about Jet? Just fucking dumb people on the internet. I don't know. Um, people that are like super fans that are thinking that it's not done correctly. But, dude, when you – imagine editing eight cameras, 24 hours, seven – like, it's just it's just a lot of work. I know what, when I film with people, like, I frequently will have them say, like, oh, why'd you cut this out? Why'd you cut that out? It's because – if you're t if you're taking five ten hours of stuff and putting it in 20 30 minutes like stuff's got to get cut out and you could edit that 500 different ways so it's just a difficult thing brandon when are you bring in baby 50 to thailand we should go to thailand bro i've never been to thailand never even thought about going to thailand jason creamer what is what kind of question is this were you happy when king vaughn got put six feet under no i don't mean I wasn't really concerned either way, but no, I'm not happy when a man dies. Were you? I don't, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> That's a weird question, yeah, I don't bro. Know what the fuck to say about that? Fifty for the main stage at the gathering. That'd be fire. Oh, I missed the dono. Yeah, condolences to him. I missed the dono. My bad, bro. Born for morning with the twenty dollars said, "Sup, Brandon." Plus fifty. Loving the content, but y'all didn't find any ghosts. Be real. Are you throwing hands with the ethereal, or are you taking care of the source on some Scooby Doo shit, or are you <laughs> running for the hills? I'm running for the hills. What the fuck that mean? Are you getting I out of there, or are you gonna square up and try to knock the fucking ghost? Oh out? no, I'm getting up out of there a thousand percent. Something like get this the how it was gonna go, regardless. First, it was gonna be fat dude. Cause Matt? we gotta, yeah, fat dude gotta <laughs> My go. My camera got Matt. 50. No, the tour guy. First. Yeah, Matt. First he goes. Yeah. First, like we gotta have like some type because if we just get started to get <laughs> picked Matt. off, we start to get picked off. We gotta start start sacrificing who gonna go next. So if one son, they said stop drinking, broski. This is not alcohol. This is tea. So if one of us get grabbed off and shit, right? Then we need to start ordering a lineup on who next to go. So the last one that's out could just go ahead and send help or something. You think you know if I mean? they get one of us, are the rest of us good, or, or it's gonna be like they're nah, gonna get they every one of everybody. us? Everybody, somebody, and then we just gotta start sacrificing. Like once they get one, we just start okay who. The cameraman asked the cameraman. You're not going to pull out that grip? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. We ain't going to do none of that. We ain't going to do none uh -huh. of that. None of that. None of that right there. We going to, because it's ghosts. You're not doing nothing to ghosts. Yeah, they're already dead. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's over with. Once it's one go, we get that order in check. 
I'm last. You're last to die? Yeah. <laughs> See, tell, tell the people. Yeah, I'm last. We going to get that order right next time we do some more shit. Like that, we need to get that order right. I left one thing out. I'm last to go. So, tour guy, cameraman, you, mm-hmm. then me. If we all get got, then that's just what it got to be. I do have but to say, I, I think to I think my stamina is probably a little bit better than 50s. It, that's why I'm talking about. We get that order right, though. That's you. You ain't going with the plan, then. That's abandoned. That's aborting the mission. I we think, need to bro, stick to the plan. Once Belfagor pops out, I'm dipping. Talking about, well, I'm talking about the plan though. We ain't talking about the you going off for the plan. free for all. Yeah, well, you going off free for all. I'm saying, definitely though, Matt. I love Matt and I love Eli, but they're going down first. But then it comes down between me and you. We gotta get that understood that you gotta be like, okay, since you might be faster than me, cause I smoke right every day. Right, I Don't smoke. Worry. Right. Yeah. So you might got more stamina than me. So you go, then I go. Or I won't be going. Back. <laughs> won't get that order right. Hannah Baby said, you and 50 should come see me at my bikini bikini barista stand. That's, she hate. She ain't nobody blessing us like that. The mic is a bit quiet. I could try to turn up the mic, you guys, but whenever I turn it up, it seems like it gets bad. But I'll turn it up a little bit. I don't want it to get too staticky for y'all. Um, yo, can I ask what state bro's from? I'm from South Louisiana. What state you from, 50? From D.C., Southeast. From Washington, D.C., Southeast. He's from the K. You guys know, guess who put me on to Baby 50? Can you guys guess who did that? I'll give you a second. Zillakami is the person who put me on to Baby 50. Literally. Zillakami was a fan of, of Baby JMO and Baby 50, and Zilla put me on to both of them. I definitely appreciate them doing that. It's a blessing to my lifestyle. And I actually hit 50 up when I was in Thailand because uh, cause Zilla showed me that song, No Good. They can't walk in my hood. No good. Buck always make that motherfucking voice. They can't walk in my hood. <laughs> <laughs> I do not be sounding like that. Yeah, you sound similar to that. No. Nah. Let me try to do it again. You can't walk in my hood. No good. Nah, but you got to say it like deeper. You got to say it with aggression like you mean <clears throat> that shit. You can't walk in my hood. Ain't no doubt. No good. Without the... Uh, you can drive past, brother. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you can drive past, brother. Brother, man. Brandon, been watching since 21. Glad to finally catch a stream. Oh, I'm missing donos, you guys. I'm sorry, bro. That's my bad. Anthony Fauci with the $2. 50 can crawl up my butt and fight for air. <laughs> Damn, it get like that on here? Not typically. That's an atypical. That's an atypical comment. Damn, that's some shit to think <laughs> of. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like, damn, they donated for that one too. That's hard earned money. I got nothing to say about it. You did what you did with that hard earned money. Yeah, that's wild right there. Damn. Oh, Vinzino said I'm a five out of ten rapping, man. That hurts, man. That hurts. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm sorry. God yeah. dang. <laughs> 50 Fuck. got that power. He could take any freshman punks off the wrestling shit. And no doubt. Yeah, he with me. Bro. Yeah, he with me. There's we need a, to make a, make a poll on here. A poll? Then you said 14. I'm grown, man. I'm grown. Make a poll on here. Y'all think I'm taking down? Could maybe 50 little rass, little, take little rass, little guy. down a state Little champion. wrestler, man. Little wrestler. Wrestler, I'll put a poll up right now. We can let chat answer that. But I, there's there's a there's a uh, a freshman state champion from South Carolina High School named JoJo, and uh, he's a dog, bro. He's such a dog. That's he's so such many. a dog. Uh, Terrell LMAO with the four dollars and twenty cents. Need fifty and Brandon on a Chicho beat, please. Who's Chicho? Let's do a Chicho beat. We can do a Chicho beat. You got Chicho beats? Hit him up. I can, I can hit him up. You should hit up Jew for a beat. You? Yeah. I hit him up. You should do it right now. So whenever the stream's over, we can record some shit. I would record more right now, tonight. That'd be fun. Jiheen with the $1. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate y'all. Baby 50 and Zilla Kami will go hard as fuck. Yeah, that will go hard, man. I was just talking to Zilla the other day. He's he's about to go to Thailand again. That's what I'm saying. You guys asked me if I'm going on Fish Tank or if I'm if I'm going to be hanging with Zilla Kami. It's like uh, shit is just so busy now, you know? 
So, like, it's hard to line stuff up. A lot of stuff just doesn't line up. But I would love to go to Thailand with Zilla Comedy, and I'd love to go on Fish Tank, but we'll see. We'll see if, it, uh, if it'll happen schedule-wise. Connor669 with the $5 said, Brandon, what's your favorite wrestling technique? Is, is the Indiana hook still legal? Um, I don't even know what that is, man. My favorite wrestling technique, I think chat knows, it's the splatle. It's the splatle. Oh, we're about 50-50 on this chat right now. 50-50 on that chat, 50. Maybe they need a no, city. No, 51-49, you're starting to slip. Maybe they need a city. I'm not playing with no motherfucking wrestler guy. You're starting to slip right Come now. Come on, man. Make that shit go up. We can do it tomorrow. Do you, like want me, you want me to hit him up? No, we ain't going to do it tomorrow. We, <laughs> I need to. I'm just in the woods. I was just. I just got out of the woods. I need to. Get back. I need to hit the gym and all. He been hitting the, the wrestler, hit the gym. I smoke on the daily. 50 don't want to do it. Yeah, we do it tomorrow. He got to, man. This kid, hold on. What's this kid's name? South Carol Wrestler uh, Jojo. Uh, Jojo Gigliotti, bro. This guy, Jojo, Jojo Gigliotti, Maryland State Champion. Unfuckwithable. But they think you could do it. They believe in you, 50. They best to believe in me. I'm not. But they know that wrestling, that's the pool you Bro, wrestling, someone just gave us $100. That's crazy. Holy shit. Wing Knight with the $100. I respect your stuff. Thank you, longtime watcher and Patreon member. Bro, thank you so much. That's Wayne so nice Knight. of you, bro. Damn. Thanks for showing love, Wing Knight. I really appreciate that, man. That's super nice of you. Very supportive, baby. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. That's so nice of you, man. I'm, I don't even know what to say, bro. I really appreciate that. And uh, for being on the Patreon as well, man, you know, if it wasn't for the Patreon, I, I would be, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube because the ad revenue doesn't pay enough because all my shit's demonetized. Um, so I really appreciate that, 100, bro, so much. Thank you for that. And thank you for being on the Patreon. And thanks for everyone that's watching right now, man. We got damn near 400 people in here on a Monday evening. That's all right. That's pretty good. I think that's awesome. I appreciate all you guys being here. We're that's having a good right. time. So it looks like it's about 51. It's about 50% right there on the poll. They think you could do it. So whenever you're in shape enough, I'm going to hit up Jojo Gigliotti, and you're going to do a wrestling match. You you get 100 tries. If he takes you down 100 times, or we'll do 10. We'll, just, we'll keep it simple. If he takes you down 10 times, you lose. If you take him down one time, I'll give you $1,000. Oh, that's easy as shit. <laughs> Y'all think I should do that shit? Make the if all the polls say yes, I do that. Oh yeah, shit. We'll, we'll do a new poll. We'll see. Do you do? You, would you guys watch? Do you guys want to see Fifty do that wrestling, uh, video? I'm not wearing a wrestling outfit and all that. No, shit you don't there, have though. to. Do I that. just wear me some swimming trunks or something, little shorts or something. You got to start practicing now, bro. And that shit was fifty one forty eight. Wrestling video with fifty. I'll let you guys decide if we should do it or not. I think it'll be hilarious because 50's confident is just his confidence is was what's so funny shit about. Is nothing. Take him down one time, grab his to put his ass in a full Nelson. He's gonna put him in a full Nelson. That is illegal, but you could do it. Oh, you, you could do, do it. That's illegal. No, you could do it. I'll let you do it. Uh, here is Negan with the ten dollars. Said I know who Sable is. I don't know if you know her, but she's been in every gathering video. The topless black chick. She gave me my first hickey. I'm moving to Finland. Sam Hyde thinks I'm dumb for moving there. I don't know. If, I think it's cool to move to Finland. I don't know. I never. I don't know if, enough about it. Maybe to make a educated response. But Sable is the. She, she is she the is she the topless black chick that that talks like in the British accent. That's really sweet. It's it's wonderful, love. It's so nice to have you here. Or however she does it. Who? One of the girls at the gathering with the. She's been in every video. She got the titties out. She's a British girl. She talks really sweet. Yo, like I forget what she said. Oh my God, that girl in the Patreon cut—I don't know if you guys saw it—the topless uh, black girl that speaks in the British accent looked at Donovan, and I was like, "Can you tell her? Can you tell Donovan, um, you know, just some positive stuff for his life?" And she looked at him and she was like, "I see blessings in your future, true love, snowball fights." <laughs> oh, she like a, a witch type lady. <laughs> but Donovan, Donovan, rest in peace to my brother. He he couldn't move anything from his neck down, and she told him. That in his future, she sees snowball fights in his future. And I just got like a visual of somebody blasting him in the face with a <laughs> snowball. <laughs> He's in a chair. He's like, Ugh. This shit was fucking funny. Funny to think about. Keep it 55th Street. Can you turn up the master volume? I'll turn it up more, you guys. Why do they keep talking? Why do they keep saying that? Well, because we're probably quiet. I'm talking about the 55th Street shit. 
Uh, is that better, you guys? It's about. I could turn it up a little more, but that's about as good as we're gonna get. Gang, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <clears throat> oh, look. They said ninety percent said yes. They want to see it. Fifty. You better buckle the fuck up. Baby Fifty versus JoJo Gigliotti in the the matchup of the century. You get a thousand dollars on the line. I'll sweeten the pot. Two thousand. One takedown, two thousand. And once you lose, you can't you can't not let me post the footage. I can edit some shit out. <laughs> you can edit some shit out, yeah. <laughs> Give me a date. Let's lock it in. Ah. They want to see it, bro. Ask them the date. I'm asking you the date. They can't decide. I, I, I need to do. I, I don't know. I need to, to put a right. poll up. How, how long y'all think it take to get right? He got me nervous now. He said. How long y'all think? Bro, a state champion wrestler is very, very difficult. You never wrestled in your life. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I never wrestled. I did wrestle in my life. You you wrestled yeah, for a team? you got to wrestle your brothers. You got to wrestle niggas. You got to wrestle everywhere. <laughs> Wrestling ain't nothing. I've been fighting my whole life. 50, can you ask them to click the like button? Can you guys wrestle the like Look, button? Look, you see all these? Show them. I see this. I can't. They can't see this shit. They can see it. This is HD. They see this shit, man. These are teeth mops, man. Who's biting you, bro? Black people bite when they wrestle? Ah, uh, when we fighting, we be getting it in. I be trying to knock niggas' teeth out they lips. <laughs> man, I wish I could say the N word, bro. That's what I be doing. I can't say it. It it it, it stunts my vocabulary. Yeah, it's a very. No, I give you the pass. No, I can't do it, bro. You know I can't do it. Yeah, it's a very. It's not as much about people what you be think. Sen- people just be sensitive. That's all that shit. Because you know me. People it's the people that don't know me. But check out my dog, bro. People be sensitive. Check out That's my little dog. It's good with me. Base team with the $5 said, Yo, Brandon, would love to hear your goals for next year. Any particular places slash pieces of content you're looking to do? All right. I know I haven't, because I haven't talked to you guys in a minute, because I haven't been live in a minute, but it looks like I'll be closing in on 500K relatively soon, which is crazy to me, because I... It's still wild that I have 100K subscribers. But we're going to be closing on a 500K soon. And after my fight with Ice Poseidon, I told him that I was going to do a subathon with him, um, but I never did. So I think that it would be really cool to do a, a one month long subathon with Ice Poseidon to celebrate 500K. That's something I want to do. Uh, also, I'd love to go over to Israel and, and do some on the ground coverage about um, you know the Israeli people and just get their perspective. Uh, Louis, Louis Thoreau did a video called uh, uh, something about Zionists uh, the Zionist settlers of Israel and I think that that was a really I would, I'd like to do something like that where I talk to some of the like there's Christian people that work for free in Israel for Jewish people you believe that? What you say? I was right here thinking about that wrestling and shit. I'm right here thinking like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here thinking like shit. I'm right here like, woo, that's 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 all right, man. Two bands. Yeah, hey, and I'm, I'm thinking if I should get in shape or I should just say fuck it and get in there. I'm thinking I could just say fuck it and get in. We there. We could do it tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking about right now. You just gave me something to think about. Let me know, man. We got 88 percent people want to see it. We could drop it on the second channel. Oh, bro, I got a really funny video dropping on the second channel soon. Did you, uh, hold on, before I ask questions, let me get through some of these um, uh, donations. China Boy with the $2. I like that name, China Boy. China Boy with the $2 said, Place a Monster Inside by Idea. What's that? It's a song. Yo, there's a monster inside me, and I'd hide because from any tiny disruption, you find the destruction of all MCs, fallen trees with your hands behind your back. You may not find your fractured. I attack first and leave last. Then I'm what walking the away, fuck? laughing, stay passive. I tell myself, because aggression is my weapon of choice. Can you feel me? Fuck if you can feel me or not, because really it's not for you. I'm filling the potholes of hip hop with skills. Head for the hills if you want to. You get it, bro. I love that song. Sorry. I know that. China I know. boy, appreciate that, man. <laughs> you just made him do a whole freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Young Hefe with the two dollars said, "Damn, Fifty, you want to throw this live up on your story? Get some, your, get some of your people in here. Yeah, share the link. Just go to my YouTube second channel and share the link. I like Fifty's ad lib. Damn, Fifty. If if Fifty were to stub his toe, he'd be like, damn. If Fifty were to break his leg, he'd be like, 
Damn. Post it like this? Yeah. Oh, you gotta have the link. If 50, okay. if 50 got into a car crash, he'd be like, damn. Do like that. This? Do it like that. Here, I got you. I'll do it. Yeah, hit me up, bro. Here, talk to the chat. Gotta go to your YouTube. Oh, wait, let me see. Let's go to the YouTube Let me real see quick. if you got a good picture, but Nah, this ain't no good picture. This guy just said, you lick again, balls, you not again. MDE. Uh, I mean, they're all my friends. I know I'm not MDE, but you definitely aren't either, and I never claimed to be, so. Give me again, Buck. You could eat shit on that, big guy. Okay. You lick ball, you're not MDE. I love the weirdo MDE fans. They act like they're like, they're like gatekeeping and shit. Somebody say, fit you anything. Fuck. Try I to gatekeep. I literally lived out there with uh, Jet and Sam for like six months, bro. They're definitely my, my friends. But no, I'm not MDE. I say anything on here, can I? Anything. Hey, man, fuck you. Connor669 with the $20 said, Cold ass rider for life. I love you, Brandon. Stay sober. But seriously, Google Indiana Hook. I can't believe it was legal at one time. I'm going to check that out. Let me check that out real quick. Indiana Hook. Is that, what is that? Is that like a chicken wing? Indiana what? If some gay shit comes up, I'm going to be upset. Indiana Jones. Indiana Hook. Wrestling LeBron move. James. LeBron James. Mention something called an Indiana hook. A wrestling mover one penetrates their right thumb into the anal rectum of Come a. On, man. That's crazy. Put your thing on. Get a shit. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. I heard of checking Come the oil. On, man. Well, I gotta get the. I gotta get this up. All right, talk to the fans real quick, but I gotta do this. How y'all night going, man? What y'all eat tonight? Some people ate, some people didn't. Some people got shoes on, some people don't. Uh, read the donation. Metaphysical Mike with the 222 said, Can you give me and my friend a shout out on Discord? Dojma. Shout him out. I don't know how to pronounce their name. Dojma. Shout out Dojma, man. Appreciate you for the two dollars and twenty-two cent. Yeah, shout out Dojma on Discord. Doja and Mike. Wait, Fifty, try to impersonate Metaphysical me. Metaphysical Mike. Try to, try to impersonate me. Try to impersonate me. <laughs> Fifty, why don't you try to impersonate me? Face it. I think my impersonation is better, bro. I think my impersonation is better, bro. Man, I was born the size of a lima bean. You put it on it? I came out of my mom's womb the size of a lima bean, and I still had ops. I was born three fifths the size of a cornflake. Fuck no, he sound like the uh, man of the the crackhead of the boom docks. Now he sound like the five off of uh, the PJs. Talk like Bucky you got like you don't got no chin. Talk <laughs> trying to chat. You gotta squeeze your cheeks all the way together. That's cool. All right, gang, I'm back. Back in action. Back in action. No pack. I'm flacking. The cops roll by. What can I say? I'm fly. Dude, the Winnie the Pooh video was so legendary. What'd you just say? I said, uh... You just said, like, a little bar. Yeah, I said something. You can't repeat that shit, though? Um, back in action. No pack. I'm flacking. Uh, back in action. No pack. I'm flacking. The cops roll by. What can I say? I'm fly. You ain't say that. Yeah, I did. It sounded much better when you said it at first. You shouldn't have thought. I'm about smoking that. that shit. The Winnie the Pooh shit. Shout out to my tiggers. Shout out to my tiggers. Winnie the Pooh. Here is Negan with the 550. Said, yeah, that's her. She's a goddess. Always been that way. I met her in seventh grade. She's in tenth. I'm 31 now. Looking to Finland, happiest place on earth. Yeah, that girl was cool, man. I really like that girl. And I think it's hilarious. She said that she saw snowball fights in Donovan's future. Fucking hilarious, bro. Also, if you guys are new into the chat right now, for whatever dumbass reason, YouTube on YouTube it helps if you guys click the like button. So if you could just if you could smash that like button, bro. If yeah, you could hit that, that like button, bro. If you could hit that like button with the fifty, that big fifty. That like and subscribe button. Yeah, I would appreciate that, you guys. Run them likes up. Uh, it just helps with YouTube. I, I should say it more on my videos, but like, <clears throat> if everyone that watched my videos clicked like and dropped a comment, I could probably go viral as shit. Dave Dave said his brain is mustache red. Yeah, I have red facial hair. Got that Irish blood in me. Hey, Matt com Matt commented. What up, 50? What's up, Matt? Hey. 
What's that? Remember, remember Matt? Our guide? Fucking went AM to. Matt, what's up, baby? What you been on? What you been up to? Yeah, what you been doing, Matt? Big dog. They say 50 won't never pull up where? Wait, where? 50 won't never pull up Rose Crans. What the fuck is that? Well, that's probably why we're never gonna pull up. We don't know what the fuck it is. Life of these shirt down. Appreciate. If you guys like shirts, you can shop the buckinghamshop.com. Ooh. And I don't know, Dow, best merch in the city. Man, these washed tees are really fire, though. This is my favorite merch by far, man. And it's, I guess, I guess it's because it's more expensive. I don't know, but it's selling worse than any of my other merch drops. Maybe I didn't promote it properly or something, but. Buck ain't promoting that shit properly. Uh, D Dog Ten said, "Great stream so far. Need more Brandon out and about. That's what's up. I do want to do some IRL streaming, man. That's what I'm saying. If if me and Ice Poseidon linked up and uh and did a subathon, IRL, I think that'll be some content. Cause Ice is down for a lot. Ice is down for a lot of shit. Oh, bro, we got Brody in the chat. Brody. Brody, somebody die. I'm in the field. I ain't bluffing." Shout out Brody. Brody TV dropped a new video, you guys. If you wanna, <laughs> I'm live streaming right now, Mo. If you guys want to watch a, a really funny video, Brody TV dropped a new episode as Catwoman. It's hilarious, man. Brody said, what's up, cold ass rider? The new song goes hard, boy, gang. <clears throat> but yeah, I'd like to do some more IRL streaming, man. That'd be cool. Zim with the 199, let me help fund one of your projects. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You appreciate him, 50? I appreciate that. Tell him how much you appreciate him, bro. Appreciate you a whole lot. They think you don't appreciate him. Appreciate you like it's the end of the world. I love you. I never, I ain't telling nobody I love him in about, a, about two years. <laughs> mom, I'm streaming. Not now, mom, I'm streaming. Love you like a fat bitch love cake. Get out of my room, mom. Love you like a fat bitch love a treadmill. No, my mom hates the camera, so if she if she walked by right now and was on the camera, she'd be upset. Love you like a fat bitch that get her nails done. Blacksmith with the five dollars. What's Fifty's favorite Metallica song? I don't even listen to Metallic. Metallica. What the fuck is that? Let them know, man. You gotta let them. What him is this? Tell them right here. He got. <laughs> I got this shirt on. Don't even know what it is. What's the Give deal? Give me a hip. Yeah, Something tell, to go listen to. Tell 50 some good. Why are you wearing that shirt, bro? It's an H&M hoodie. I went to H&M, liked it, liked the design, bought it. 50 was wearing a City Morgue <laughs> shirt. He was wearing a City Morgue shirt? Yeah. And you said you were like, this is Chrome Heart, or what was it, Valone or something? I like? said, this is v -Lone. Yeah, this is v -Lone. And I'm like, bro, that's City Morgue. That's my homie's little comedy. He's like, what the fuck is that comedy? All I know is v -Lone. Yeah. Hey, Steinfeld's in the chat. Love 50 in the furry video, man. So you got fans, 50. And shout out Steinfeld. He's a great editor. I thought everybody <laughs> hate me. Everybody don't even hate me, man. Appreciate the love. <laughs> now, we should do some brainstorming in the chat. Appreciate the love. We should do some brain, some uh, some brainstorming right quick. All right, you guys. Uh, what, what do you guys want to see me and 50 do next? Let's brainstorm right quick. Uh, where should we go next? I want to take. I would like to take uh, Fifty to some places that are like you know he wouldn't typically go to. Oh, young young Cash, he said Billy Ocean is fire. I'm a sang to a bitch like I'm Billy Thank Ocean. You, Whack him, hit his ass in the open, shorty down bad, loafing. Bitch. Creep on your block, want to see what that beat about? Um, what are we deleting? Yeah, you guys keep spamming kiss, bro. Come on, it's not that type of stream, man. Go say that in Destiny's chat. Sean Coachers with the $5 said, Being a rapper, has 50 heard of Pete and Boss? And if so, what are his thoughts on them? Never heard of them. Don't know who they is. Don't know who they are. Pete and Boss. What's that? I don't know. I know Boss Rootin'. I don't know who that is. Anki, come on, bro. Baby 50 in Vietnam. Another haunted place. Go to Bickeling, go to Amsterdam, go to a Mitzi concert, take him to OC. <laughs> we fuck? should go to OC, bro. What's that? But I, don't, I don't know if that title hits right. I took a gangster to, to Ocean City. Or we could just, I don't even. That's OC? Yeah, you've been oh, there. Ocean City, OC. 
Yeah, OCMD. What the fuck? Yeah, I've been there. That ain't no fun. It is fun. You gotta drink box wine. OC? You call OC Ocean City? Yeah. I never heard nobody say no shit like that. They call me the cockroach of OC, man. Why they don't just say Ocean City? I don't know. Sh- Ocean easier. City born. That'll be born. No, it'll be fun. We get the box wine, hit the bus loop. I'll get all crazy and shit. The bus loop? Yeah, get on the bus. What is that? Oh, the bus? They got a bus in Ocean City? The bus, yeah. Oh, the bus to get to Ocean City? No, in to go up down like 1st Street to 180th. We could get you a, a little a little Betty out there, a fine young thing. Maybe out there. Yeah. You know, Ocean City, Maryland's the most the most dangerous place in all of Maryland. It's like got the, the highest crime rate by far. Bro. Yeah. By far. It's because people go there on uh, vacations and they get into fist fights. But I looked up the crime rate. Ocean City, Maryland is always number one, like by a staggering percentage. I and Ocean I will City say, bro, one. I've been to Ocean City a bunch of times, and people have tried to fight me. I've been in a fight in Ocean City. This one time when I was 15, I was walking with all my friends in Ocean City, right? And all my friends were wrestlers. And this, like, 20 some year old crackhead came up and grabbed this girl's ass that we were with, right? Mm. And she had a boyfriend that was our friend. But she, he looked at me, and he said, I just grabbed your bitch's ass. What are you going to do about it? And I was like, what the fuck? Like, get, a, get away from me. So we walked like three blocks. He followed us th- three blocks over, took his shirt off. And then I was just like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And he ended up spitting on me. And right when he spit on me, I like threw a head kick at him and it missed. And he backed up and backed up. And then I fucking like crushed him with a right hand. He fell to the ground and I was like, mop, mop. And he was just out and was leaking like crazy. He was drunk as shit? Yeah. And at the time, I had a really bad staph infection in my knee. See that scar? Yeah. So my knee had a bunch of fluid in it, and when I, I guess when I dropped to the ground to hit him, the fluid in my knee ex- like burst. My burst like exploded. So I had fluid in my calf and in my thigh. That shit burning. It hurt so bad. I had to go to the hospital and get it drained. It was terrible. But yeah, people try to fight you in Ocean City a lot for no reason. And you know, like fighting in the street is for fucking retards, bro. That's a retards game. Get into a fist fight in the street. Yeah. That's so dumb. And half the people aren't even trying to fight. What a random. If I try to pull up on the K and fight someone on the K, are they going to fist fight me? They'll probably, probably shoot me. Yeah, probably not. A lot of people aren't trying to fist fight. A lot of people definitely ain't trying to fist fight none days. Damn, you guys are showing a lot of love, man. I appreciate this, man. Cuddy Flam with the 199 said, y'all should go to Swamp Fest in Florida in February. That'd be fun. What's that? My birthday in February. It's probably like some, when's your birthday? February 24th. Okay. Bro, my mom's birthday is February 22nd. My sister's is the 26th. Damn. Really? Damn, yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's all right. So but they Pisces too? Whatever. I mean, I don't do that. I don't do... The sign you shit. Do, you do the... I don't do the sign shit. Better I say. just know my own sign. Okay, okay. Better say. 50 on that gay shit, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd love to go to Swamp Fest. That'd be a good one. Big Buck, I heard you're actually 5'11". Sure, dude. I'm 5'11". I don't care. Why would I? Oh. What? Uh, John John Yon Stan. John Yon Stan. John Yon Stan. John Yon Stan with the five dollars. If you go to the gathering next year, we got a link at the Heath Walmart. Um, I probably don't want to do that, but I'll link with you in the in, in the grounds. Fifty goes bull riding. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, fifty. <laughs> Get fifty on a bull. Fuck no. Them jumps be trying to kill you. Fifty, you're a dog. Get a dog nah. on a bull. Nah. Big body. That's just some dumb ass shit right there. That shit is good. That's good shit. On I a think. bull? Mm-hmm. You can handle a bull. Nah. You could beat up a bull. Nah. 50, grab a bull by the horns and break its neck. Wish I could. I bet you could too. Bull to fuck around, kill me in that ring. <laughs> how quick? How would it go? Give us the play by play of how it would go down with a bull. I'd go to the gate, one and go in. I'll be looking in his eyes and see that his eyes mean business like you humans keep playing with me. So when that so when you before you get in there, you gotta analyze where as though you about to actually do this or not. I'm one of the motherfuckers that uh, get right there and be like, matter of fact, no, I ain't in built for this shit. I'll be I'm out. I'm uh, I'm gone. You got it. Bull to be right there running around by his damn self. Because as soon as they fling you off, they try and poke you up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Dank IRL said, ask 50 if he's heard of Ram Ranch. What's that? That's the white regular ranch? 
You never heard of Ram Ranch? Nah. Regular ranch? Ranch dressing? <laughs> no. What you talking about? <laughs> I supposed to know what Ram Should Ranch I play is? Ram Ranch for 50 right now? I supposed to know what Ram Ranch is? What the fuck is that? I'll show you, bro. Can you scoot this back? I got your back. Thank you, babe. I got your back, bro. I just keep looking at joint just right here. You ready? This is going to be uh, Baby 50's first time listening to Ram Ranch. You got to look at your fans and give them your reaction, bro. Ram, Ram Ranch, Ranch, you thought it was a dressing, right? It's not a dressing. Look into the camera, bro. I heard this on wrestling. Oh, no. You like that? <laughs> nah, I don't like. <laughs> I don't fuck no Ram Branch. I ain't never heard of that. I ain't trying to get with it neither. What? <laughs> That's Ram Ranch right there, bro. <laughs> you fuck with it, bro? Fuck no. What the fuck? <laughs> You ever heard of Two Girls, One Cup? I heard of Two Girls, One Cup. All right. That's enough. Okay. Right there. That was, that, that was, that was. That's fair. All right. Blacksmith with the $5 said, y'all should pull up to a Bruderhof community. They're similar to Amish kind of like cult vibes. That'd be cool. I'm actually in contact with like an Amish dude right now. I've been trying to do a documentary about the Amish for a while, man. They're hard to get a, hard to get a hold of these, these fuckers, the Mennonites and the Amish folks. Elijah Caballero with the $1. Thank you, Elijah. Eli, he's the one that edited um, edited that haunted video, and he also edited the uh, the furry video. Shout out, so Eli. My editors good work good, hard. Good man. So I know you guys are confused about the editing situation. Essentially, I have editors that work that work hard and do a great job, but I'm like so particular about my stuff that like for an editor to give me a finished product is typically still going to have me be doing anywhere from like 15 to 60 hours of work on it, you know? Just because I got to do my talking head, uh, write it, record it, and then put it in the video. And then I, there's just a lot I can that I, I can do. Com I need to do. Conversely, like when I have a finished video, I also send it to my editors as well and get their uh, take on it and whatnot. Brandon, IP2's twink. Bro, I'm a heterosexual twink. Keep it right. Gang. Renaissance Festival. We could go to the Renaissance Festival. What is that? You never been? Bro, we got to take 50 to the Renaissance Festival. I should write some of these down, man. Renaissance Festival would be really great to take 50 to. Hey, guys, check this out. I know some of you uh, miss Pawpaw. We haven't had Pawpaw in a video in over two years, like actually in a video, um, or a year, over a year and a half. Me and Pawpaw are going to a porn convention in D.C. in the four days, going to a damn porn convention with Pawpaw. Wow. The one I was telling you about. I was gonna oh, go. Yo, with, yo, 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 I was yo. gonna go with fifty, but I'm doing a sponsorship with it, and I had to like sign this paperwork of who's gonna be in the video, because they gotta like wear a shirt. So we'll go to a porn convention too sometime. That, I'm down with that. I'm trying to go. Wolf with the ten dollars said, "I just spent fourteen hundred dollars on a generator because my power was out. Came home when the power was on. So brutal. What's baby's favorite Metallica album?" Was my favorite Metallica album? Yeah. Baby 50 Go Hunt. What People want to know in the chat, why is it Baby 50? Why isn't it Grown Man 50? I was young at the time. Why isn't it Grown Man 50? I wanted a grown man at the time. But what about now? You could change. That's just what I'm known by. Ain't no changing. I stay the same. <laughs> you talk quiet, bro. Gotta stay the same. Can I never change? Gotta stay in the game. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, I don't know, bro. It was just I was young. Maybe you yeah. change it, though. You can't be baby 50 when you're 80 years old. I was thinking that. I don't know what I'm going to change to. Just 50. Old man 50. Nah, i probably change it to... Uh, Big dog 50. 
No, I gotta stay baby fifty. Regular size fifty. When I'm sixty years old, call me baby fifty. Call me fifty. At that point, you call me baby. I might. We might throw some hands. We might. Yeah, you got another thing coming. Fifty when came. Older, fifty came out the womb the size of a pea. He came out the, half the size of a pea with a he came, with a toothpick. He broke in half. He was stab ops with the toothpick. Now my old head. I have a lot going on. Take 50 to Thailand. Take 50 to a hardcore metal concert. Bro, the concert thing is hard. It's, it's hard to film at a concert because... Or loud music and shit. Yeah, first of all, it I sends... I don't want to go to number... That shit sounds boring as It hell, sends right? me to an, into an autistic fit, and it's just like... It blows the audio out, and it's just hard. Banana Man's a murderer. Did he die? What is that talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Big Buck, I heard you're actually 5'11". You keep saying that, bro. I'm 5'11", sure. I'm 5'5". Five five. What does it matter? I'm 5'2". Aiden Robertson with the $2. Twerk review with 50. Does that... They they want to see you twerk. They want to see you twerk and review your own twerking. I'm just kidding. They probably want you to review a girl's twerking. I was about to be disappointed in the <laughs> chat. Y'all was going to be disappointed, man. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um... Yeah, they like that. Take you to a Vegas brothel. I think Renaissance Festival is good. A brothel will be good. I'm trying to take 50 to a rub joint. He doesn't want to do it on camera. He trying to take me to a rub and to... Um, What do you think? You think it's worth it? What? Go into a rub and tug joint for the camera. No. It ain't worth it. No? Nah? Mm-mm. All right. Uh, go to Bull Bash 2024 Skate Topia. All right, I could, I could. Where did the name Fifty come f- from? For give me for my ignorance. Where'd it come from, bro? Your name. My name Fifty. Yeah. My attitude and character. Your attitude and character is Fifty. Why not forty-five or thirty-eight? Fifty just sound more Fifty. So you're like. When they say like I and keep I it one hundred, it's like well I keep it fi- I keep it fifty. I can say that. That's 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 more relatable towards me. And I was growing up on a lot of fifty cent when I was a young nigga too though. Many man. Many 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 man just. Uh, name Anth- myself because I was a nobody at first, bro. So I just name myself. Nah, 50, even before you were, when you were, when you were, uh, bro, you just name gave myself that name and just ran with it. Yeah. Fifty, 50's a somebody. Fifty looks so sad. I just always look like that. It's just my face, y'all. You ever I've been through some shit though. Yeah. That's true. But this is just my face expression after I've been through that shit. Let's talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> take 50 to New Orleans, bro. We should, I should take you to Mardi Gras. What is that? With the with girls show their titties and stuff. Ah, they go crazy. Yeah, I'm with that. Andy Peltier said Big Buck versus Sam Hyde in the MMA. Who wins? I mean, I would never I would never fight Sam. But all they so. doing is showing titty? Uh, go to Skatopia. No, you like get drunk. You have fun. You um, thing. Why does it show that I have ads on, bro? I'm sorry, bro. If you guys are getting an ad right now, that's annoying. Why? Skip ads. I clicked skip ads. I think I skipped the ads for you guys, I think. I don't know how it works. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Paw Paw and Baby 50 would be a funny combo. That would be a funny-ass combo. They want to see you get a – they want to see you get the hand job, man. Who's saying that? The people. People keep saying keep it fifty fifth street, man. You guys know like Crip Mac is ment- like mentally challenged and stuff? For real? Mm-hmm. No, I ain't know that. You ain't know that? I ain't know that. They showing them support and love on this. You did some shit with them? I would. They showing them love on it. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, gang, gang, gang. Uh, well, hold on, what else should we ask Chad about? What should we talk to Chad about? How long have we been doing this, bro? An hour? We're about an hour in, man. Thank you guys for being here. This is fun. We'll keep it going. Keep it going. 
Someone about said. An hour and someone said fe fetal alcohol syndrome. What's that? I don't know. Andy Peltier said, "Buck, what do you think about Andrew Callahan making this comeback?" Man, I've spoke on this before, but uh, Andrew he had, had hit me up a while ago, like eight months ago, just between me and him, and he uh, squashed the beef, apologized to me, and we made amends. So, I mean, I have no hate, no hate in my heart for the guy. He came to Baltimore. He he hit me up. We hung out, and uh, I don't know. You guys know Andrew doesn't need me in any way so and i don't need him either and i think it was it was nice of him to you know swallow his pride and show me props and apologize to me <laughs> it's about to take baby 50 fishing so you know and andrew makes great content and i, I will say about the allegations that had happened to andrew I'm, I'm i can't speak on him too much but um there's some shady sh there's some shady stuff going on to for towards him for sure but dude andrew's new video was really really good and i said bro i said crazy stuff about andrew i mean i shot dissed andrew so much talk about him pooping on pillows saying i was gonna fucking kick his ass and stuff you know i posted a video about him on here that got like three hundred thousand views i ended up taking down just because i you know i don't know so, good now, though. <clears throat> yeah for him to apologize after i did all that i think that's pretty stand up guy that's pretty nice yeah that was that I mean, he's was, a millionaire he doesn't need to do that yeah so yeah, I've actually I've given uh, Andrew several video recommendations. So, um, yeah, he said whenever he uh, does he he did one of them. He's gonna plug me in the description, which is which is uh, pretty much what this shit partially stemmed for before. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice film. Show fifty the disc video. You seen the disc video? Remember that when I got the blood all over me mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah. All right, watch that, y'all. That was around the time we first linked, right? Yeah, that was when we first linked. That was that was funny. Anki said, Brandon, have you done shrooms ever? Bro, I've done shrooms like 30 times. I never done no shrooms. That shit I see on movies and shit. That shit how you hallucinate. You be thinking you going through the forest and you sitting down. Fifth, I can see 50 doing streams and fuck around and kill somebody. Off a mushroom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't fuck with the mushroom. Start going insane. Like get it like something bad's happening. You're like. But when you mad, you just be mad. Like shrooms, some sometimes it's nice, but sometimes you have a freak out, and I feel like you've been through some shit, so you might have a freak out and feel like you gotta defend yourself or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking with them. Jones. I, I never saw nobody even take shrooms and be I. Oh, we could go to the most racist. Make Baby Fifty make a video with Gideon. That would be fire. I fuck with uh, Gideon's been doing that Christian thing. I think that's cool, man. Um, can you guys imagine making like two hundred thousand dollars a month? And instead of continuing to make two hundred thousand dollars a month, you shift your entire content to Christian content, to because you feel like you're having a bad influence and you want to have a good influence on people. That That's takes what a he did. that takes a special kind of person. That's what he did. Yeah, think about how much money he's sacrificing. Every video Jadon posts on the on his main channel will make like a hundred thousand dollars. He has Damn. like hundred thousand dollar brand deals. He's like one of the biggest YouTubers. He's literally putting all that away. To be a Christian person, to be like a better Christian. Is he is he teaching other people to be Christian? Yeah. Teaching me to be Christian. Shit. <laughs> oh, was, no, I'm already Christian. I'm talking about like how he doing it though. He doing it like he repenting his sins and all this. So he yeah. Did, yeah. So he like preaching it. That what he getting on? What he doing? Like he preaching it or he just like just telling everybody? He's got a guy brother Josh on that helps, but he's like half preaching and half just trying to you know educate and talk to people. But I already yeah, told y'all, yeah, Jideon. Right. Shout out Jideon. Jideon, he he also had hit me up um, and apologized for what he did and said, you know, that he wasn't being a, a, a good friend and whatnot. So me and Jideon are cool too, because I feel like I do hold grudges and stuff, but at the same time, if someone's gonna be like most of my beefs, I feel like were because someone did me wrong. So if someone's gonna swallow the, their pride and just say like, hey, like I apologize for what I did. You know, I will, I will forgive him, but it's, it's hard for me, like, someone like Danny Moen or Sneeko, like, it's hard for me to forgive them, uh, because one, they're, they're just disingenuous, and two, they, they haven't, like, fully, like, proper apologized, like, Danny's reached out and, like, half apologized, but, yeah, I don't know, those people, those are, like, the two people I mostly fucking do not like at the moment, oh, we got another donation, gang, Anthony with the $5. Buck, you plan on filming again with Keegan or Zilla? Those videos in Thailand with Zilla were hella good. Some of the best videos I've seen. All right, chat. I have 
like five more videos uh, with Zillakami in Thailand that I'm going to be releasing. And I went on tour with Zillakami and I'm going to be releasing it as well. So I have more content with Zillakami. He had asked me to, uh, to hold off on posting them uh, for a while. But I mean, it's been going on two years since the Thailand stuff. And it's been going on a year and a half for the, the tour. And um, yeah, I'm going to end up, I'm gonna end up uh, posting those videos. So I'll have more Zillakami content on, on the way. Um, the tour video, I, I did three or four short show, show dates with her, with, with him. God damn. Hanging out with Zilla, Sos Mula, um, Denzel Curry pulled up. There's, you know, uh, a bunch of stuff of me, me hanging out with Danny. Or not Danny, uh, Denzel. I'm just reading Danny in the chat. So, yeah, I have some Zilla stuff on the way. We did this video on Valentine's Day where uh, I, we found out that our Mo the Muay Thai coach, his name was uh, uh, Wen, Kuru Wen. He makes like five hundred dollars a month. Damn. And he has a kid, and he's got to pay rent, and he just hustles. He just hustled so hard. So uh, for Valentine's Day, I took him out in Bangkok. I took him to the bar, the, the the club he wanted to go to. Got him all the drinks he wanted. I gave him like five. He get paid five hundred. I get. I gave him like five six hundred dollars, and then he wanted to get a, a lady of the night. So we got him a lady of the night. What's a lady of the night? Get yeah, escort. Oh, okay. Then. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Can't with the five dollars. Y'all killed it with the new videos. Fifties music slaps, bro. Fifties music is so hard. I'm a genuine fan. Fifty know that though. Fifty knows that. I've been a fan of the music for a while. Fuck, definitely had. Clutch Reem said, "Hey, Fifty, I went to Balu with you. Out of everybody from Balu, you made it, bro." Feel good about that. Thank you for that comment. You just brighten my day up, brighten my spirit up. Yeah. A lot more. I'm trying to be something with myself. 50's only 22 years old, man. I got six years on 50. I ain't trying to be no failure, y'all. Can, can I flex that rack for a second, bro? Yeah, baby. Is there any way we could run the likes up to 500 likes, man? I know it doesn't matter, and it's just I'm, I'm, a, I'm a retard for saying it, but is there any way we could run that up to 500? Is it possible? I just want to see. Is it possible? I just want to see. Oh, oh. Big bucks. We're at 404 right now. Can we get it to 500? Not that it'll make a difference. But I'm, this is the most money I've ever held in my hand. For real? I never have had cash. It's always digital. You got flat. You got money spread it. Yeah, hey, money spread it. Let me see if you not. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no. How do I do it? Educate me. You got it. Oh damn! We just jumped up to 456, man. We're almost there. 44 you more likes to 500. It. That's fire. Hold Bro, it at the bottom. Cause if your hands all the way up here, then you won't. Yeah, hold it at the bottom I bet we like could that. get so many likes on videos okay. if if people would, if people knew how much it would help. Oh, if you gonna just do it like this. Okay. On a on a on a, on a Check big thing. Racks. Willie Racks. You guys know I used to have a fake Willie ID. Racks. My name was Willie Racks from uh, uh, Magnolia Street. Rack 'em rack rack ball. They was fucking one another in the ass like a choo choo train. Who? Willie Racks. Who the fuck is Woody Racks? Rack em, rack. Woody Racks on some weird shit. Rack ball. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to, you guys see on my, on, on this channel, this second channel, I'm at like, um, I'm at like 75,000 subscribers, man. I want to hit 100K on this channel. Cause I can't Why imagine. Drop though. We asked for 500. Oh, we're about to be, we're almost at 500 likes. Thank you guys so much, man. That's crazy. See, I, I need, probably need to ask. Oh, you were talking about the likes? I thought you were talking about the. Nah. I need to ask more of my videos for people to like them more because that shit really helps. And like you guys just ran up 400 to 500 like nothing, man. I really appreciate that. That's probably something that's holding me back because YouTubers all the time will be like, like and subscribe. But I never do it because I feel like it's just like takes away from the video and shit. Yeah. Um, but I need to do that more. And also, I know I've said it before, but if you guys want to cop some merch, man, I'll say right now, uh, I think that the... There's a discount code only for the patrons, but since you guys are in here, I'll tell you the the, the discount code is um uh let me look it up real quick. <laughs> if you guys want to buy merch, I'll give you the, the secret little discount code. Can we make the uh hold on. My bad you guys. Say something, fifty. We about to tell y'all the discount code and the motherfucker that's one of risk on the old and I ain't going to put in the bitch. Cold, cold ass patrons 10 is the discount code. I know it's only 10% off, but 
like I said, I'm not even getting the margins on this shit is way lower. But I'll post it in chat if you guys want to get something. Cold ass patrons ten for ten percent off. And yeah. That's the that's this new merch. Cause I had to you gotta think I I had to buy the these designs. It was like a three hundred fifty dollar design. And then this washed blank alone is like sixteen bucks. And then this is like a seven color screen print. So I'm just trying to break even on it right now. Right now I'm down like four racks on the merch. We made about half back. Uh, someone said not getting that back. Thanks, bro. <laughs> not getting that back. Uh, Tanner with the two dollars said, Brandon, do you, do you know Shai on YouTube? You should collab. Yeah, the guy that does the uh, the like exploration adventure stuff. That guy's awesome. I know he's anonymous, so I don't know if we could even collab or how to contact him. But <laughs> I would love to collab with him. Somebody said this video of autism. Like that's fucked up. Do you have autism? That's fucked up. Do you? I mean, I wouldn't know. I probably do. <laughs> so, fuck you for doing me like that. I might go... You would never know. I might go home and... I got to go home and... Say, say in a dark room. Be wise what you comment on the internet. Yeah, 50 got feelings, man. Come on. <laughs> Just because he's a gangster doesn't mean he has feelings. Gangsters have feelings, too. I think it's so funny because 50 doesn't call himself a gangster. I, it's just me calling him that. I think it's like a hilarious thing. <laughs> like every video, I'm like, 50, you're the gangster. He's like, nah. You know, I ain't no gangster. I just blow shit if they run up. Ah. Oh, shit. But yeah, for those that didn't hear, I see someone in chat asking about it. It's a uh, cold ass. I think it's cold ass patrons 10 is the discount code. All lowercase. Um, also, if you guys do use my bookie and you use my code, I think if I get... If I get like 30 people to sign up, they're going to give me like $2,000 bonus. He said I got autism. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, own it, bro. There's no That's shame in that. That's fucked up. I got bro. it too. Damn. Damn. You got to hold it, hold it down. <laughs> I'll be right back in like one minute, you guys. Hold it down. 50. Be back in a minute. Hold it down. Be back in a minute. I'm back to be spinning. Getting that calm. Getting out grinning. Shooting that nigga on the, on the head of his leg, head in his face. Niggas be bitter. They dug in that drink. I ain't gonna play with them and stay on the cake. Get my money and get out the way. Close one eye when I'm bumping that bitch. It's like, nah. What's up, y'all? Uh, I ain't gonna play. I'm gonna bump that stick. These niggas bitches don't bump they stick. Got that bitches to hold on tight. I don't know. I'm gonna roll on right. Fuck y'all, yeah, come on. Was supposed to be spending, I want to spend, I want to go fuck me a bad little bitch. I got me some money and got out quick and, 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 and. <laughs> You just rapped to him? Yeah. Hey. This guy said, 50, show your weenie since Brandon's gone. Y'all tripping, man. <laughs> 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 you guys are tripping, dude. Where can we send beats? Oh, if you guys have beats, bro, send me some beats right now. What's a good email? What's your email? Offradarc at gmail.com. Off radar what? Saved. S A V E D? Yeah. At Gmail? Yeah, gmail.com. Like a nigga getting saved because they going to pick him up. I did lay down. Damn. Like gonna play with him. Bro, if you guys, I, I just I just put round. it in chat. I play that 50 round. If you guys have any beats you want me and 50 to try to I rap over tonight, them send them to offradarsaved at gmail.com right now. And we're going to try to do it. Try to do some shit. Face stomps. Uh, put them in a box. I got to get them now. Uh, you already know what the fuck I be doing, man. You already know. Terp Tiger said this dude's boring as fuck. You're boring, Terp Tiger. What the fuck do you Terp say? Tiger, fuck you. Terp Tiger, say something. Say something in the chat that's funny. Dumbass, Pull Terp Tiger. Face, Baby Fifty got no personality. You got no personality. You fucking negative yeah, bum. Terp I'm not Tiger, even gonna ban you. you. Say something in the we chat. Like the negative shit. Keep him in. Say here. something, Terp Tiger. Say something Pull entertaining. Piece of face, my Tell us a joke. Long you fucking chin. clown. Sandu Chen, bitch. Terp, yeah, Terp Tiger. Fuck wrong with you. You're a reject, man. Say something, Terp Tiger. Whole chat's waiting on you, bro. Everyone's looking at you, man. They're laughing at you, Terp Tiger. Laughing at you, Terp Tiger. Keyboard nose, bitch. Damn. That's right. You're real quiet now, Terp Tiger. You're real entertaining. Fucking suck our dicks. How about that? Terp Tiger. Knuckle nose, bitch. You're an idiot, dude. Fucking You're a fucking bitch. idiot. Brandon, can you get Jet Neptune in shape? No. Nope. copies on Wednesdays, bitch. Oh, 
Turp Tiger's gone, man. Where you go? Not hearing nothing from him. I can hear Turp Tiger. We ain't done with you, huh? Yeah, Turd Tiger, you little shit, man. Little shit, man. He's gone, man. Not saying nothing. Fuck wrong, man. Yeah, chat. Can you guys spam L's for, for Turp Tiger? Turd Tiger L's in the chat. Let's do that. Run that up. Show him how much we hate him. I'm trying to shit on 50. All these people that just comment. Like, you got to see. Everyone sees. Turp Tiki said. Turp. Turp. Tiger said 50 just sits there saying nothing. L for Turp Tiger. Man, L for Turp Tiger. Look Horizontal sign to face, bitch. You suck. Pointy you suck, nose, Turp bitch. Tiger. Nah, don't. Turp Tiger try to jump in himself and try to do an L? <laughs> nah, bro. You just got. <laughs> I'll put you a timeout, bitch. <laughs> you got to put a timeout. <laughs> bitch ass Turp Fuck Tiger. With you, bitch. You're not a part of it, man. Turp Squirter. Should have been on the side of your mother face, bitch. Yeah. Fold up daughter face ass nigga. Yeah, you was never shit. Your mother should have swallowed you. Should have swallowed her. But if you guys have any beats for 50 and I, that'd be fire, man. That'd be really fire. But um, definitely going to the Renaissance Festival. Like I said, I'm taking Pawpaw to the porn convention in a few days. Linking up, I'm going, I'm staying at uh, Turkey Tom's house in f the day. All right, let me give you guys the breakdown real quick. Yeah, I'm going to break down. On December 1st or 2nd, I'm going to the porn convention with Pawpaw, right? I know that. Then on December 3rd, I'm going to Providence, Rhode Island. I'm going to be on Charles Carroll's live stream called The Palace. I know that. And then on December 4th, I will be picking up Brody TV and my camera guy, Elijah, and going and staying at Turkey Tom's house in Maine. I know that. And we're going to be doing uh, harassing rich people at Harvard. We're going to be doing a funny video for Turkey Tom's channel and for Brody's channel. I know that. And then after that, I'm going to be going to John Tron's house for like a week or 10 days and film with John Tron. Ain't no motherfucking doubt. Got a lot going on, man. Ain't no motherfucking doubt. And me and 50 filmed a video yesterday that I'm going to be recording, that I'm going to be filming, or I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be filming the video. Editing. I'm going to be editing the video and dropping that soon. Me, Peaks 100, and Baby 50. Shout out Peaks, man. Appreciate it. I'll probably start support. editing as soon Peaks as the stream's good, over. But, yeah. Uh, Anaconda Sniper said, uh, uh, oh, bro, I want to talk about mental health with 50 soon. That'd be really funny. Um, give me a second, though. Anaconda Sniper said, Brandon, tips on. smoke. You want to yeah, roll something up? You good. Oh, I bet. You just got to smoke it, uh, like, you know, you know, smoke it out back. I know. Um, Brandon, tips on handling. Though, right? You can roll right here, yeah. Brand so sorry, you guys. Brandon, tips on handling bad trips. Had to trip sit two in the past year while simultaneously being high on shrooms. Xanax. Take Xanax to stop the trip. That's what I would do. But, I mean, once the trip is going bad, what can you do? I've flipped out horribly off of shrooms before. And, like, what, what, do you, what can you do? Nothing you can do. Try to tell them you love them, you care about them, everything's okay. But, really, you just got to fucking take a Xanax. Uh, someone said, do you actually want beats? Uh, yes, bro, please send beats to off radar, uh, saved at gmail.com. And we will check, we'll definitely listen to all the beats, whether we record it to them or not is a different thing. Well, there no f way, dude. There's no way. Do you see that? Hold on, let me get myself together. It says that someone just gave us $400. Damn, I told him, damn. Zim, is that bro, serious, bro? Damn. Did you really just do that, man? Did you really just do that? That's the most money that I've ever been gifted in my entire life. Bro? $400? God damn. Appreciate you, Zim. Zim, dude. What do you want me to do? Like, thank you so much, damn. bro. Damn. Freestyle on this beat right here. There's no way. Fucking 50 in this bitch right here. Freestyle, but... Uh, motherfucking style. Mm, mm. Don't waste it. We got a fucking crowd. Uh, uh, Damn. Your mm. motherfucking turn. Damn. Take over. Like a motherfucking turn. I got nothing, bro. But fucking shout out 400 shout from Zim, man. You. Thank you so much, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Um, someone. T bro, y'all keep asking him. I still cool with Zilla. Yeah. Smoking that gas pressure. I'm cool with Zilla. Get it for the Lord. I'm taxing them extra. <coughs> Sitting down bad. Stress. He on the ground, pick him up. Zilla, I just talked to Zilla yeah, like a few up. days ago. I know everyone was like asking like, oh, what happened? Zilla unfollowed you on Instagram. It's like, I don't fucking know why someone does something like that. 
he still hits me up and still like we're still friends. Oh, they send him beats though. I never asked him about it, but I don't know why someone unfollows someone. <clears throat> they really send him beats. Yeah. Bro, if you guys send beats, we're gonna listen to them one hundred percent. But nah, massive shout out it's to Zilla, bro. I love Zilla. Yeah. Yeah, they sending them. Zim, thank you so much for that for that four hundred, man. That's just unbelievable. Zim. Zimmy Neutron. He's Zim. That's the most money I've been gifted in my whole life. Bro, on Christmas and shit, I don't get four hundred dollars. Can't hit my that's song bad Christmas. Christmas time, yeah. man. I ain't get shit. Don't laugh at my face, don't be on my dick. I'm making my money by standing on bricks. He was laughing. With a bitch, no she don't love me. She lied in my face on my way to the top. To a place on my way to the top. To a better place. I don't got no heart. You got shot in the face. They want you to take a shot, 50. Nah. A what? The hen dog? Nah. That hen dog is, uh. What's that shit called? Damn, that'd be fucking. Unbeatable? Fuckin nah, I'll be fucking on my jokes. That shit, uh. L Terp still in forever. Yep, it, L Terp. But W, w Zim, bro. Can we get a W Zim in the chat, man? W Zim in the chat, w please, Zim, man. W That's Zim. the most money I've ever been given in my entire life, literally. W Zim. Three ninety nine. Can we please get a W Zim? Zim the Invader, Invader Zim. Just a few W's for my man Zim. Zim 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 Zim. Hey, what, what was, what's that word that Star Wars <clears throat> Mo? Brandon, you should take Zilla to the gathering. I mean, Zilla was supposed to perform at the gathering last year, and he didn't come. So I don't think Zilla wants to go to the gathering. But it's called uh, what's that word? What? A Star Wars C when when you can't touch something. Uh. It, it, you can't touch him? Like on the zombie movies, it'd be having like, it'd be like a circle on it and be like, see? Can you guys help Zilla or help 50? You know what I'm talking about? about? Nah. It's like. K Invincible? Nah, Conquerable? I'm talking about like when you can't touch Contagion? Like Contaminated. Contaminated? See what I'm saying? See how we just did that? That means you can't that was touch it? Contagious, man, contaminated. Man, contaminated Caution. is a motherfucker, man. Yeah. All right, let's talk. You know what? It's time. It's time. I know I was doing those mental health streams for a while. Some people liked them. Some people didn't like them. I think it's more fun to just talk about whatever and have people on and just shoot the shit. But with 50 here, 50 is from the streets of MLK, pretty much pretty much like Project Housing, right? Pretty much like Project Housing. And uh, like you've seen, you've seen traumatic stuff. You have friends past just like me, had bad stuff happen, been in jail, da 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 da. Um, so I want to get I want I want Chad to ask some questions about mental health for Fifty to answer. All right. Uh -huh. And right now, Slim Jimmy, Slim Grimmy said, "Did Danny Mullen touch you?" Uh, nah. I wish Danny Mullen would try to touch me. I'll break his arm, snap his fucking arm, bro. Can I smoke and chat? Smoke it up and chat. Sad who? Smoke it up. Nah, I'm about to smoke it up and chat. Damn. Um. 1984 Lobo said, "I asked about Zillow because he was missing the Haunted Asylum video." Yeah. You know, Zilla, like, I don't want to speak on his, his stuff too much, but, like, you guys know he's going through some mental stuff, and um, I just don't think he really wants to be, like, in the spotlight too much. You know what I mean? Like, when you feel down, yeah, you kind of just want to lay low. So, but we, yeah, we're we still on great terms, man. I talk to Zilla, like, frequently. He's, he's, he's doing good, man. He's a great, great guy. Yeah, everybody deal with shit in their own way, in their own life. You just got to be there for them <coughs> and support them the best way you can. You never know what they going through. If you ain't, if you, cause you, you that's the only option you got. Cause you never know what somebody going through. You gotta support them and be there for them. Zim said, said I got a stack for him. Just keep making the fire content. Much love, respect the hustle, and how much you can bring a community together. Put it towards the next video. Thank y'all for love. I promise you, Zim, I'll put it towards the next video, bro. And uh, like I said, you just gave me more money than anyone's ever given me in my entire life. Four hundred dollars. So, just thank you, bro. Thank you to everyone who's donated. But, Zim, I know that's like that's like a week's worth of pay, bro. So I really, really appreciate that. And like I said, it makes me feel good. I just gave I just gave 50 that band yesterday, which I is I never by, had nobody give me a band ever a day in my life. He blessed me. By far the most money I ever gave anyone. And then the next day I get the most money that I've ever gotten. So that's that's karma right there, man. I really appreciate that, Zen. Yeah, I'm blessed in me and Buck. Like, it's, words can't even explain. I don't, he know how I feel. This shit genuine. He a good dude. Like, like Zim said, you, you bringing people together and putting a smile on everybody's face, that's all you can do. That's all people ask for. There's a lot of shit going on out here. People just need to laugh more. Yeah, and it's always weird when someone, like, just wants to pull up and do something, but then, like, once they get what they want out of you, then they just ghost you type shit. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I like to think that when the YouTube shit is, is over and done with, the people that I've collaborated with, my friends and also my, my uh, viewers that will... 
I'll be remembered well, you know, because the YouTube stuff come and goes, comes yeah. and go. So, but my dad always said that it's not about what you what you accomplish in life; it's about um, the like, like the the memory you leave behind, what people think of you. You remember more for who you were as a person than like what you necessarily accomplished. I know that's not always correct, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. For a regular person, for the most part, for like a regular person, yeah. I could be the biggest user in the world, but if I'm a piece of shit, they're going to remember me for being a piece of shit. Um, so, yeah, did you guys have any uh, mental health questions for 50? I would love to get the gangster perspective. Or, or not even mental health, relationship issues with girls, or just any kind of questions you have for 50 about um, something like that. He's got some funny-ass perspectives, bro. I remember we were talking to Brody about, remember Brody's girl when he, when he got broken up with oh, her? Oh, yeah. That was so funny, man. Brody girl bro got what am I? He want he want putting dick in her good enough. They got the fuck on him. You can't do. Yeah, man. Uh, Fifty, what do you do when a girl starts nitpicking you, bro? Like, like, on top of everything. See, this the problem. You niggas, I can holler at him. Yeah, holler at him, holler at him. <coughs> this the problem, man. You niggas, when she start nitpicking. Yeah. You motherfuckers, you don't need no bitch until you the man. She nitpicking because you ain't got shit or you ain't doing shit. If you if you the motherfucker that's you gotta be the man. Cause if you ain't the man, who's the man? You. I guess. But if she nitpicking. Post you need to be able to just be arranging how your lifestyle. Like, man, nobody about to be nitpicking. You make sure she good. Touch all that shit up, man. You make sure everything, your household straight. It won't be no miscommunication. Nitpicking is miscommunication. And me, I, I need to be the man. So if I'm, if I'm the man and I'm taking care of what I'm supposed to take care of, because that includes your female. You got to make sure your female, you know, well taken care of if that's what you looking at to be with in the future or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Create something with it. She got to be straight. She wouldn't be nitpicking if she was straight. You got to be the man. So she can understand what you going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot on your shoulders because you provide for everything. She wouldn't be nitpicking. That's why you got to get yourself situated first. So you're saying... These niggas be horny. That's why they nitpicking. They chasing bitches and shit. Bitches is on the internet all day looking at whatever the fuck is on Instagram and shit. So. I fuck with it. Uh, Connor669 said, uh, or no, hold on, this is old stuff. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad, my bad, boy. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Gibbons said, do you think people are born inherently good or inherently bad? What the fuck that mean? Like Inherently is like automatically. Do I think people are automatically born bad? Good or bad? Uh. Yeah. What's the hood perspective on that? You think some, some some people are just born fucked up and rotten, or nah? It's like a product of circumstance. It's a good question. Do I think people is? Bro, somebody just donated fifty dollars. Damn. Acquainted Apple with the fifty dollars. Yo, Brandon, sorry for not following through on Patreon. Things are kind of tight, but I still want to support you. Here you go, bro. It it means so much just for you to watch the content, man. Just take time out here to watch the content. Um, if you're financially struggling at all, please, please, no pressure to, uh, no pressure whatsoever to uh, get on the Patreon. But thank you so much for the fifty, bro. Acquainted Apple, tell me, is, is there is there an extended cut you want to see? I'll drop it in the chat right now for free. I could just give you an extended cut, Acquainted Apple. Thank you so much for that 50, bro. I really appreciate it. But if there's an extended cut you want to see, I'll give you a, I'll just post the link in the in the chat right now. Um, but dude, no pressure to ever give me money, man. Just even just tuning in is is more than enough. Seriously. That's like super 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 nice just to take time out of your day. There's so many things to watch and you know, I'm just a regular ass dude, so I really appreciate that. This is definitely a a fire stream. I appreciate y'all. MF with the $5 said, Brandon, you look like Nick Cage's chosen son. What's your thoughts on him as an actor and or favorite movies? Uh, I think Nick Cage is hilarious. I think Raising Arizona is a great movie. I love uh, the compilation of him screaming. 
Um, I love the scene of him in uh, that one movie. Uh, I forget what it's called, but where he's got the bees. Not the bees. So, yeah, I like Nick Cage, but Raising Arizona is my favorite. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go smoke this weed. Yeah, you can go smoke it real quick. Well, I'll have some questions for you when you get back. Nick Cage is awesome, bro. Nick Cage is super awesome. Um, I really like Nick Cage. Uh, in Hot Water with the $2. I didn't skip nothing. I just didn't see it. In Hot Water with the $2. What does 50 think about modern transgenderism? Like nowadays, transgender shit. Yeah. I think that shit just. I think that shit. That shit. I think that shit foul and wild. I think that shit foul, wow, and I think that shit. I mean, people gonna people gonna do whatever the fuck they wanna do and shit. Though I'm just saying, like you know, the tricking with motherfuckers or whatever the case may be. I think that's wild. You could do whatever you want with your body and whoever you are as a person. But when you bring someone else into the situation, that's when you being tricky. Like I don't know, you know, I don't know big words and shit, but that's when you being like fucked up as a person. Like that's <laughs> oh, fucked up. Like, I you love tricking 50, nigga bro. or some in the club and shit. 50 looking at me dead in my eyes. I don't know big words and shit, but that's when you being fucked up. Yeah, that's just <laughs> fucked up. Like you could do what I ain't got nothing against none of that shit. Actually, roll a funnel, Jay, bro. I ain't got nothing we'll, to do we'll with none that of that shit. Right I'm after. talking about. I'm just talking about that. Just and and you know my lifestyle, my my what I believe in. That's just me, what I believe in. I don't think that 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 that's you know. Just for for like that's for society. Good for society. It's a lot of shit that ain't good for society. So, but. That definitely ain't helping. Yeah, I say, you know, I say to each their own, but I think when you start to push stuff on, on people from a young age um, and just indoctrinate them with those kinds of things, I, you know, I don't love it. That's what I'll say. But um, how do you not get into fights with people? Uh, I mean, you get into fights every now and then. I get into, I, I get into fights with, like, friends, though. Yeah, I'm getting fights with random people. With I'll random say people you just don't be you with a lot of shit. Just be wrong place, wrong time. Like. I'm hard to fight with. So I, how do I not get into fights with people? Is I will just uh, I'll just back down. I'll just take the L. You know, I'll just defuse the situation by walking away. Typically, if you're getting into a fight with someone, it's because there's two two people hitting heads. So you try to hit heads with me, and I step back. Anytime I get in a fight, anyway, I'm hitting you first. It's no, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be getting in no I've fight seen, with, though. Punch somebody. You shouldn't be getting in a fight with, though, you just got your hands up. And you, you shouldn't be getting in a fight with, though, you just get, y'all both got your hands. Nah, because before then, it's some aggressive shit going on. You being aggressive to me, I'm being aggressive to you in some type of way. So whoever got the ups, that's just like on the game, on Call of Duty. Whoever got the ups, you did. In real life, whoever got the ups, you did. So me and any city, if you coming at me all this, whoa, 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 I'm hitting you. If I don't want to fight, I'm not going to say nothing to you at all. I'm going to avoid the conflict. You got yeah. it. That, it is crazy but, when people But are... wait, when you avoid a conflict, that makes the motherfucker more angry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got no other choice other than just, you know, pay it attention and back away like, hey, man, okay, you, you, you know, and just let your pride go. Your man and your dignity, your pride and everything, just, you, you. some people will take that L and just keep and go watch a movie and laugh later on and forget that shit even happened. I'm talking about me, though. You know what I'm saying? It's even one or two options. I'm going to get out of that situation. It's either I'm going to hit you first or... <laughs> or... Or you're going to defuse it. Defuse the situation, yeah. yeah. No, I get that. Um, Man, I don't know. I'm hard to fight with. I'm definitely a difficult. I mean, obviously, you guys might hear me say that and be like, "But you beef with people all the time." Um, I feel like I mean, we've been in a tense situation before, right? Yeah. And I just was just chill, wasn't I? Yeah. Just diffuse shit. Yeah. So like, I don't know. If you try to argue with me really hard, I'm pretty easy to just be like, "All right, then I'm a bitch," or like, "Then I'm whatever you say I am," and I'll just diffuse it. Just don't play into it. Um, it's pretty easy to knock it into a fight when you like when you put your pride and your ego aside. 
It's typically when you get yeah, you're being prideful. If you if you any situation you in, you will want to have the ups. If you don't got the ups, you lost the situation. Don't be in no to put yourself in situations where though you even have the ups or you not in the situation at all. Fifty beauty and brains. Mm-hmm. That's what they saying. <laughs> We got to get hey, 50 man. on a blind date, bro. We got to... I should get 20 girls. Yeah, have you seen that thing where it's like 20 people doing this to one person or whatever? Yeah, them bitches fake, though. They ain't really trying to give a nigga no pussy. We could do a real one. 20, 20 people versus... Uh, Were they 50? really trying to give a nigga some They're pussy? They're really trying to yeah, suck your dick and shit crazy. Crazy. Like, they got to know who a nigga is and shit, though, because they can't just be no random white bitches that just... You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Cause they ain't gonna know who I am They just doing it for content I want bitches that's really Trying to suck that dick You can line them up bro If you want to Dave Dave said Any diet advice I've been eating slop Goop and scum lately What's your diet advice 50 I can't gain weight for shit Smoke weed You would you Smoke 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 some motherfucking weed man You'll be alright Smoke some weed Don't eat Cause motherfuckers that smoke weed Barely eat anyway They just be smoking like shit They smoke before they get up Smoke before they eat they smoke after they eat. They smoke when they bull. Just scrolling on Instagram. We smoking. It's smoke, man. Smoke cure, man. Everything. Smoke, big boy. <laughs> big bitch. Smoke. I would say my advice is meal prepping, bro. You save so much money and you can be so much healthier if you if you meal prep. You know, just go go get five pounds of chicken, cook that all up. Get some potatoes. With a question like that, you got to ask them how much they weigh. Because you still feeding them food. We, I'm oh, giving yeah. are you, you a... Are you big body or little body? Yeah, right. Because he's weight, still weight. giving you food. I'm going to cut your food supply. You fat, you get no food. No more. That shit over with, man. You could cut it out. You could smoke. You eat nighttime. Wake up. This person. You smoke. Destin says, I'm in labor and delivery with my girl, and y'all ignore me. What the fuck? But I haven't seen your thing. Yeah, what, they, what Destin said. You, you got to think. You're in chat typing stuff. We're seeing all these and, like, freezing the chat and looking at them. I'm not trying to ignore you, bro. I get this in my DMs all the time. People are, like, upset and angry at me saying I'm ignoring them. Bro, I'm one person. If I have hundreds of people messaging me, like, I can't answer everybody. I'm not trying to ignore you. I just didn't see the thing. Come on, man. I'm sorry, Dustin. I'm not trying to ignore you. I just haven't I haven't seen what you said. Come on. Um someone said uh, soy and seed oils, yeah. Avoid that. Avoid that. Oh, I missed two the donations. Zim with the one ninety nine said, Hold up. Why hold up, Zim? What's going on? Zim bro, you you've done enough, my my brother. I appreciate you blessing me, man. You don't have to donate any more money ever again for the rest of your life, man. Four hundred dollars is crazy. Da Zoon said, why are you deleting comments about Jed? Bro, I haven't deleted a single comment. About who? This guy is saying, why are you Jed? deleting comments <laughs> about Jed? that? J My boy Jet Neptune, I haven't deleted a single con a comment. Uh, You're tripping, bro. Bro, they just be trying to stop shit. YouTube auto-deletes a lot of stuff. So if you said a cuss word or you said a, something, you probably got auto-deleted. Baby, let me send you beats. Send beats to offradarsaved at gmail.com. Right? Off radar saved. At gmail.com. And after the stream, me and Fifty are going to uh, hop on this mic and see if we can't, uh, you know, do a little bit of rap action, man. Try my best. Stream sesh, please. I'm not allowed to uh, smoke in my house. Fifty, so p people also are confused about this. A funnel J. What's a funnel J? It's just. I can show them this? Yeah. It's just this right here. It's just tobacco, essentially. So I can pull it in my hand. It's like smoking a cigarette. So I'm still not smoking weed. Yeah. This is funnel. It's funnel, y'all. This certain certain type of tobacco. It. Yeah, they can see it. It's funnel right here. Yeah. Huh. So that's what it is. When I say I'm smoking a funnel, Jay, it's that. It's like the harshest tobacco ever. It's so harsh. That shit will spank you, spank the shit out of you. <clears throat> in hot water with the two dollars said so would, like science class. would would fifty go to Liberia to visit General Butt Naked? He's a ex cannibal. Fuck what? no. I ain't trying to eat uh me. Nobody that eat people. That's something I'm trying to That's do, you guys. Long -term shit. That's something that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh I wanna go interview General Butt Naked. I've just pinned the message of how to send us beats. Um 
I really appreciate all you guys. You guys fucking rock. Internet review with the ten dollar said I've been on four dates with a girl from Zimbabwe. I'm a white guy from Northern Ireland. She moved here for her career. I feel like she wants to settle here or date seriously. How do I treat an African queen? Come on, fifty. What do you say? This guy's trying to get some black pussy. Right. But not just get the pussy. He wants to treat her right. How do you properly treat a black queen, a BBW? If I tell you how to treat your bitch, she might as well come suck my dick. <laughs> Nah, you gotta do him a solid. He gave you ten bucks. Oh, gave you ten bucks. With, so tell him like. Yeah, some advice on some black getting black woman. I so wouldn't know. I only been with. Seven you gotta be women. mean as a motherfucker. Cause no, it, fifty. Really? That's how I get bitches. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit, oh. and they love it. Do you if you, yeah, I'ma tell you real shit, especially the black community. If you 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 gotta, but you got to you got to treat them good though. At the same time, I'm a piece of shit. But I got a soft spot too. You feel what I'm saying? So if you if you you gotta take him out, you gotta take him out. Talk to him nice sometimes. Rub they feet sometimes. If your bitch a BB, she a BBW. Oh, he didn't. Say, I said that. He didn't say that. Okay. She is yeah. black though. She's an African queen from Zimbabwe. Yeah, man. Shout out Rhodesia. Uh. Just treat her good, man. Treat treat the feet, treat the woman nice. You know. Make sure she doing what you need her to do. You doing what she need to do. If you trying to get her and you ain't got her, just make sure let her know you trying to get her attention. Let her know you trying to get her attention, motherfucking do a wink or some shit. Nowadays it's Instagram. You can slide in the DM. Well, he already got, he's already he her. already got her. He if you are, how to treat her nice now that he's locked it. Man, you got to fuck her good. If you fucking her good, if you fuck a bitch good, she ain't going to leave you, bro. If you fuck her good, fuck her good. Financial wise, make sure she ain't got work that hard. You will be all right. Because, you know, a man should be doing everything he can to provide for his... Um, yeah, there there had to be a little more expensive, or I literally would not make any money. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for that. I guess next time what I'll do, you guys, next time I do a merch drop is I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with cheaper, cheaper uh, fabrics and cheaper prints. So then it'll be a cheaper product, and I can sell it for cheaper, if that's what you prefer. Cause this merch drop's selling like shit, bro. Every other my, one of my merch drops have done way better. This one's doing really bad, and I've spent the most money on this one. But I guess people want like afford affordability over quality. Yeah. So, but it's all good. I just wanted to make some shit that I really fucked with. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, bro. Sorry about the expensiveness. Um, Double Helix with the 999 said, 50's favorite and least favorite way to smoke. Appreciate the stream, lads. My favorite way to smoke? Uh, Sheets and funnel. Sheets and funnel, yeah. Bamboo. Favorite way to smoke right here. When you don't got this, I can't smoke. When you don't got this, I can't smoke. Will you hit a bong? If you don't got nothing, me won't smoke. When you don't got nothing, me won't smoke. Me won't smoke. Me won't smoke when you have nothing. If you don't got one, me no smoke. If you don't got one, me no smoke. If you don't got two, me no smoke. If you got supply, me smoke. Um, Anki said... Uh, what is your edging routine? What's that? What the fuck is that? Never, never mind. Um, someone said neon type chat. This is not a neon type chat. What the fuck? This is not, we, bro. The cold ass writers are nothing like neon. Neon's out there faking its death and faking getting beat up and faking bullshit, man. This is not a neon chat. I can show him the weed too. Fuck neon. I probably wouldn't do that. All right. Just because YouTube's tripping. YouTube is tripping. Oh, this shit is in my face. I just realized that. Um, Brandon Ansberg said, I'll cop some merch. I appreciate it, bro. I swear to God, I wish that the merch shit was cheaper. My merch guy wanted me to sell for more because, like, I split all the profits 70-30 with him. He obviously wanted it to be more, but I don't know. Like, even putting this this sweatshirt as $105, it's only because it cost me 55 to make. And he wanted to put that bitch even more, understandably, because he does merch full-time, but... 
I just personally, even 105 is steep. If I was you, I would just buy the $65 one. You know what I mean? You got to get some better funnel. I can't lie, though. That joint had loads of stems. Ooh, shit. Oh, they talking about, nah, they talking about, yeah. Nah, this only shit that's where we at right now, no. I don't smoke crunchy. I smoke uptown funnel. You don't smoke crunchy? Nah. That's just where we, that's just because where we at. That's all they have right here. Madison Rogers says 50. Tell Buckingham to hit me up. I'm right, I'm right here right now. Madai son. Brandon, how you gonna gatekeep fifty like that? That's fucked up. What am I gate? What am I gatekeeping? I I missed it, bro. Oh, on the edging. <laughs> edging. Oh man, he doesn't want to hear about that, bro. He doesn't want to hear about that at all. At all. Christmas music, bro. I love Christmas music. June, John, June. I'll give you a shout out, bro. I appreciate you. Well, shit, man. I think we. I think this has been a good stream, right? Yeah. You ready to cut and just chill? You wanna keep streaming? Uh, I like streaming, shit. You like I it? I like this shit. What y'all think? Spam, yes, if y'all want us to stay on. Spam, no. If y'all want us to just get the fuck and go smoke. I'm out of smoke my tweed. He gonna smoke his fun. Tobacco. Yeah. yeah, you can just go smoke that and then we'll see what we'll see. But um, they're saying yes. I just gotta edit. Hey, now I could give motherfucking shit to spam. Buck gotta, trying to get the fuck, y'all. I gotta edit. Spam. Yes, if y'all see Buck trying to alias skedaddle on y'all. Spam, no. If. Spam, yes, if you like. Damn, I like this. I can get him to spam yes or anything. Or oh, no. 50 like, spam, no, if you if you what, feel what? like Butterfree don't evolve from Metapod. Spam, no, if you think Kakuna come from a diglet. Spam the letter three if you think numbers is really letters. Thank <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Spam. Hey, nah, real shit. How many of y'all? 50 likes the power of stream and it's going to his head. 50's getting powerful. <laughs> I'm definitely getting powerful. Don't start <laughs> spamming threes. What the fuck is they spamming threes for? I said some dumb shit. I don't know. I said some shit. You can stay here and keep talking to me. I just gotta, I gotta edit. I'm gotta go smoke. What you gotta edit? I gotta edit. Cause I, it's Monday, bro. I gotta keep my stri streak up. You guys, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do another stream, man. You guys were awesome. I had a great time. We'll do another stream sometime soon. Um, I hope you guys appreciated it. Uh, Fifty being here again. If you guys want to send any beats to us for us to uh, look at, it's off radar saved at gmail dot com. Uh, if you don't follow Baby Fifty on Instagram, could everyone, bro? If you guys, if we could light up Fifty's Instagram with like at least fit. 20, 50 followers, that would be pretty fire, right? Yeah. If everyone could just go to, to type in Baby50 on Instagram, give him a follow, show him some support. One of the most fire rappers from the DMV, my good friend. So, yeah, follow him on Instagram, please. I would appreciate that. And uh, listen to his music, man. Yeah, my, favorite song is by, my favorite song is by 50 is No Good, uh, Hit Him Up. Uh, Probably, no, probably, I'll do three. I'll do No Good, Hit Him Up, and Billy Ocean. Yeah, shout out y'all for staying in the stream, showing support, showing the love. I appreciate y'all. Shout out Buck for having me on, showing me genuine love. You know, I appreciate that. That mean a lot to me and what I got going on in my life, man. Uh, it's all love. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll see y'all soon. We have a bunch of great content on the way. And, uh, yeah, it's Baby51 on Instagram. Baby51, y'all. But turn notifications on and shit because we're about to drop this video with Peaks100. We got more shit coming. Bro, the video with Peaks is so funny. So you guys are going to fuck with it heavily. Definitely. You guys keep saying 50 needs to make a YouTube account. I agree. But for now, he's, he posts on his Instagram story and stuff. So Buck show, yeah. You know, Buck show me the way I'm, I'm going off. The time will be right. The time will come, y'all. Right now, I'm just, you know. I'm 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 glad right now I'm just enjoying the moment the 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 spotlight Buck put me in and the love that he showed me at. I'ma just stay down right now until my time come. Everything's gonna come, y'all. It's gonna come. Just be patient and just trust the process. I'm trusting the process. Everybody do the same. I thank y'all for you know just letting me know what to do and how to do it and make sure that I'm okay financially for me and my family and shit like that though. But I'm trusting the process, y'all. You know. I'm I'm cool right now with dropping music and, and shit like that. I'm going to come on this YouTube shit eventually, though, y'all. But right now, I'm trusting the process right now. And 
I believe Buck got the best interest for me in whatever route I go. Yeah, He'll definitely. He'll be there bro. with me. Definitely, definitely. So we appreciate y'all again. That's Baby51 or 1Baby50 on Instagram. Listen to his music. And you guys can see me December 3rd on Charles Carroll's uh, YouTube channel that. on The Palace. Uh, I'll be dropping a video on this channel very soon, so make sure you subscribe Peace. and turn notifications on. We'll see you next time. Appreciate y'all. Thank you again, Zim. Thank you to everyone who donated. I love you guys. And, uh, yeah, peace out. That shit went.